Alright, okay, okay, okay. Welcome to another tutorial. Did I get you pumped up? Hopefully not, because if I did, then that would be a little weird. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to talk about formatting a worksheet. I cannot say that word. Worksheet. I would say worksheet. What the heck is that? I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep saying it. Who cares? What are you going to do? Uh -uh. All right, I'm just kidding. So the reason I want to talk to you guys about this is because a lot of the time, whenever you have data that you're working with in Excel, it's going to look ugly by default. One of the biggest case scenarios of this happening is whenever you're looking at a website, and this website I just found it pretty much in this example, go to any website with a table on it and try copying it and pasting it in Excel. If you want to use this example, this is the URL. And what this website is, is it's basically a table of McDonald's food and all the calorie information, all the nutritional facts. So for example, the Big Mac, it gives the calories, total fat, yada, yada, yada. But anyways, like I said, just go to the internet and find any table and say that you wanted to crunch some numbers in Excel or turn this into a spreadsheet. So what you can do is actually just copy this. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And also, I want to point out for this example, apparently McDonald's has a crap load of food on the menu that I didn't realize. And I don't want to work with all of this. So I'm just going to grab the burgers and sandwiches at the top. All right. So anyways, I copied that. And in Excel, I'm working with a blank worksheet. Go ahead and just paste it in. All right. So looking pretty ugly right now. I mean, this is really hard to read. I have like a random column over here and look at this, it says burgers and sandwiches on four different lines instead of on one nice one. So we pasted in the data and it wasn't exactly as expected. So the first thing I like to do whenever I start cleaning up data is just look for crap that I don't need. So this column it accidentally grabbed some blank thing so I'm just gonna select that right click and delete it so now I don't have any blank column another thing that I wanna do is who is texting me right now Gerard asking if I uh, did my fantasy hockey thing alright so another thing is this row right here this is pretty much just a blank row and websites have these blank rows a lot because it just makes your data look a bit a little bit prettier and easier to read but for Excel it's gonna cause some problems if we're trying to add up columns or total numbers or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and right click and delete that alright so all the extra crap is deleted we did it manually simple enough it took like two seconds so now let's go ahead and make this a little bit more readable so the first thing I want to do is actually just get rid of all the default styling this is bold um, you know, this is a different text than this, and I don't know, they're all different sizes. Let's just go ahead and wipe everything away and start from scratch. So what we do is we need to select the entire worksheet. So this little symbol right here between the column names and the row names with a little arrow, click that and it's going to select every single cell. So now in order to clear the formatting, make sure you're in your home tab now in your ribbon in this little editing section you see this little clear icon now if you hover over it says delete everything in the cell we don't want to do that all we want to do is we want to remove the formatting so click the arrow and drop down to clear formats and check this out holy moly it just looks like ten times better already so basically what it does is it wipes away any styling any bold any um, variances in font family, any differences in font sizes. It pretty much takes all those away and uh, gives you default styling or default format. Pretty sweet. So it already looks a bunch better, but check it out. We still have a couple problems and that's, I don't know, all of these are getting cut off. They're not the proper width. Okay, I can't read any sandwiches and I need to know what ones I can eat for my diet. So of course we have a couple options we can go through each column okay double click that it auto fits double click okay this is taking a while so 
what is the shortcut to pretty much resize automatically every single column in a row? Well, go ahead and select your entire worksheet work again. That's going to tick me off in like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> like it's already taken me off, but whatever. All right. So the first thing that we want to do is in this home tab in your ribbon, go over to cells and we want to format the cells. So in this drop down, the first thing I always do is hit auto fit column width. So as you can see, it automatically resize each column. It's basically the equivalent of going through each column and doing this one by one, but it does it for you all in one click of the button. Now you can also do this with the rows. Right now, all my rows look pretty good, but if they were different sizes like this, I'll just mess them up real quick. Then what you can do is just, again, select all the cells, format, auto fit row height, and it makes all my rows auto fit to a consistent height. Pretty sweet. This style sheet is already looking pretty dang good. So, actually, I, I got, I don't know. I always like, when I'm at six or seven minutes in my video, I'm like, should I continue? Or should I just stop and go on in the next tutorial? So, actually, I'm gonna wait to the next video because, I don't know, I like to break it up into little pieces. So, thank you guys for watching for now. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys some cool ways that you can align the text in these cells and you're actually going to do this pretty much every single time whenever you throw data into your Excel workbook. So it's going to be handy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then.